If you have a proposal, if you have a proposal, will you please come up to the mic? Will you please come up to the mic? And tell the crowd. The basic idea is that by repeating it, people can hear it at the back. So everybody gets to hear what's being said. Everything's about inclusion, everything's about consensus. And we want to see a world based on that. So, you know, this is exciting to be doing it here. We are now going to vote! Up and wave. I think us moving is a moot point. I think us moving is a moot point. As the police themselves are forcing us to stay here. Should we go around to people so everyone gets to speak? Yeah. My name's Ed, nice to meet you all. Hi Ed. Um, I think at the moment it's quite important we're all going to be here for a number of different reasons. There's a vast array of reasons amongst thousands of people that are here. I think more importantly than talking about what our issues are right now and what we want to change, I think the logistics of getting our camp set up is the most important and is what we should really be discussing at this point. Okay. Ideology second then. Yeah, yeah. for now. Okay. I will say one thing that's crossed my mind, if this gets big I think they'll start trying to take people out by saying you're not actively seeking work, we're stopping your benefits. So. Try and, what I'm going to do oh, while I'm down here full time, I'm going to go down to an internet cafe and I'm going to apply for three jobs a week like they yeah. tell me I have to. Until the last hour, it's been about trying to get back in here. So we've uh, we've travelled all the way around. We tried this exit, we tried the side exit, and then we were down by here. And then we thought, do you know what? There's no difference if you're this side of the cordon, that side of the cordon, yeah. in the top, the middle, the bottom, inside out, left to right. Under a piece of yeah, yeah, wherever you are, do you know what I mean? It's part of it. And then the minute we settled down, they opened it up. So everyone's back in there now. It's taken on quite a peaceful, uh, a peaceful vibe now. Do you know what I mean? The roads open up there, so they can't complain on that front. So hopefully now this is the start of the occupation. Be standing down here juggling and just like playing around really, do you know what I mean? Trying to add a bit of colour and a bit of flair to it. But a little party theme, you know, a little like feels like a little mini festival down here. I was looking at maybe turning this into a small field kitchen. Um, just so that people, you know, basically one of the things I've thought about is that something that wasn't mentioned on the web that much was the ability for us to feed ourselves. And that's something paramount, you know, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, there are three essentials to human survival, which is warmth, shelter and food. 
and I'm intending to supply shelter and food and hopefully warmth as well. Warmth of my heart. <laughs> Mindless goons. People do learn things at protests. Yeah, you do learn things, yeah. It's about community as well. You're building yeah, up exactly. you know, friendship and things. Yeah. Your time to you is worth saving. You better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. Your times they are changing. The first ten. Um, right, yeah, it did look like I was among the first tents, yes. I got told bring a tent, bring tarps, um, bring whatever you can. You know, we're in this for the long haul. You know, like, I'd stay here for like a few weeks. Yeah, definitely. But like, I mean, after that, I guess winter. It is the wrong season really to be doing this. Um, it, and you know, like it does get freezing cold down here by the side of the Thames. How long do you want to stay, Benny? For 15 minutes. Well, we might be a bit here longer than 15 minutes. Hot, hot chocolate, hot chocolate. Who's the old uh, Frappuccino? Shine <laughs> latte? Thank you very much. Processed groups over here! What is the process group? So hopefully we're going to be talking about, I guess, the process of how things will happen and... How to make decisions collectively as oh, okay. a movement. Sorry, organisational process, is that what we're talking yeah. about? Right, okay. Process. <laughs> process! Internal communication, very important. I'll try and get a list of uh, all the groups to each of the groups. Does that make sense? Then you'll know who else exists. Actually, we are quite a powerful group of people. If we do all join together, that's quite reassuring. Um, it sometimes can feel you isolated on your own and can't make a difference. It's good to we finally, you know, have an opportunity to come and uh, voice our opinions and our anger as you know people just living in this country who feel as though we're being, you know, we're being. It's a bit underground at the moment, but hopefully it will turn mainstream and more people will participate, especially with the upcoming uh, strikes on 30th of November. That's just noodles and it's uh, a hobo stove. Excuse me, mate, you need to move that. Sorry? You need to move away from there. Okay. Sorry. Can I, is that an order or a request, officer? I'm asking you very nicely. If you could do that, if you could just move it out of the way, that would be brilliant. I don't have to pick it up then and spill it or anything like that. There's a bit of a health and safety issue here. I don't know about health and safety, mate. There's probably some rule about cooking noodles on the uh, what you had on these. My friend, are we able to move this? Yeah, yeah, we just need space to do it. Okay. Well, let's go then. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! I've got a feel of something that's going to be here for a while and hopefully make, make a difference, get people thinking. If you look at previous demonstrations like say Iraq or something like that, um, there's a big show, of, um, big show of, of, of people that came out and then they went home and that was it. I think some of the strength of the Occupy Wall Street stuff is that it's just gone on and on and on and people have been forced to actually listen to what's being said and more people have joined in and it's grown into a bigger thing and real, real large-scale political discourse is, is taking place as a result. So. We are peaceful! You are violent! You are Under what law? Under what law? Am I being peaceful? Stay peaceful, don't give them an excuse. I'm being peaceful. was over there he basically got dragged he was sitting down he got dragged to his feet by police officers and thrown back out the other side that set him off a bit and he's thrashing around going get off me and it became a vicious circle and basically everyone came over shouting because a lot of people saw it start and it was plain and simple it was the police that started this and they do this at pretty much all the demonstrations we have in the UK they're trying to agitate people into violence they're trying to create the violence create the negative headlines and lose public support for what we're doing here 
and at the end of the day they're not going to succeed. started out with just 70 people on their first day and this is a lot bigger so let's just hope it grows and grows and they hear us.